Let's say I want to take some of my files in the exercise folder here, double click on it, and I want to be able to put it on a CD to give it to one of my friends because I don't want to email it because it's secure stuff or maybe the files are too large and it would just take forever for the internet to deliver these files. Well first of all, speaking of uh, the size of the files, you have the CD, you have a DVD, and you have a Blu-ray disc. Now I've got some files here, how large are they? If I hover over one of them here, you can see a little pop-up, 64.1 kilobytes, and then I hover over another one and that one says 12.2. Well, you can get out your calculator and add up all this, the sizes of the files to see if you can actually put this on a CD or DVD or if it's too much. And that could take forever. But instead, what you can do is you can click on one of them, hold down the control key, click on another, and keep your control key held down and click on a few more. And then let go of the control key and right click any one of these selections of the four we have here. I could right click on bibliography and go down to properties and left click and you see it says of the four files you selected total size on the disk is 140 kilobytes let me click cancel what if I want everything in here the quickest way to do it is to close out and to right click on the folder and it's gonna bring up left clicking on properties the total amount of files and folders within that folder is seven files in one folder and the total size is 260 kilobytes well, what's a kilobyte well think of it this way there's a thousand kilobytes in one megabyte and a CD can hold up to 700 megabytes so you can easily store this on a CD the next level is DVD and it holds 4700 megabytes starting at 4700 megabytes or an easier conversion is 4.7 gigabytes there's a thousand megabytes in one gigabyte then up from that is the blu-ray disc which holds 50,000 megabytes or 50 gigabytes if that makes sense okay what we want to do is we want to be able to burn this so I'm gonna click cancel and to burn this first of all I need to stick my CD into the CD drive and as we're speaking I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in there and then push the close and you want to make sure it can read the CD to make sure the CD is blank first because if it's got other stuff on there you may not want to overwrite that or it may not allow you to overwrite it depending on if the CD is open or closed and we'll talk about that more in a minute so you see this little pop-up that tells me it my computer has read that there's a blank disk there and it says look you can burn your music to a, a CD and it opens up Windows Media Player so when you click on that it opens it up and all you're doing let me click on it and show you it's pretty fun it opens up all my uh, files here of my music that I added in my library and what I can do is I can simply it says drag items here I can click and drag what I want burned onto that CD over here you see a little white X in the red circle it just means it cannot be found so that's good then I can go ahead and right click it and remove it from the list so I'm not burning any error and that one's not found either so I'll right click and remove that in any case after I add a few over here I can click on the start burn and it just automatically starts burning it to the CD I'm gonna go ahead and close out now that the option was used up when I inserted the CD if I want to burn any files I have to I can go right to the folder double click and open up the folder and I can just click on burn if I wanted to burn just a few select files, I can control click some of the files and just hit burn or click off in a blank area to burn everything within the folder, including this folder and its subcontents, that uh, picture. Click on the back arrow to go back up to that level. Click off in a blank area. Make sure I have nothing selected so it selects everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click burn. And then it says, look, to prepare this disk, what's the title of the disk? By default, it gives us today's date. You can go ahead and type in today's date. Now, there's formatting options that are really important. When you expand it, you have two options. This live file system means that, hey, I'm not finished burning. I don't want you to close the disk. I want you to leave it open so I can just click and drag files and erase files off the CD here. Having it done this way might not be readable on operating systems before Windows XP. However, if you're sure this is all you want on the CD, you want to select Mastered and it's readable on all computers and some CD and DVD players. Just meaning that if it's music, you can go ahead and play it on some of the CD and DVD players. And it requires to write all the files at once and you can't leave this open so you can burn or delete it later on. So this closes it and allows you to read it on other computers. So before I say next, I can come up here and just say this is my top secret. And you can only type so much. You see how it's blocking me there? I can't type any further. So that's about as many characters as you can give the title of your disk. So I'm going to hit the backspace and just say top secret. Then click next. It opens up a window and it tells me I have files waiting to be burned to the disk and it's got all these shortcuts right here. Shortcuts are pointing back to this so it just takes them and burns them right to the, the uh, CD drive. So I can go ahead and burn this to disk right now, all these shortcuts here that actually will take the files and put them right on the disk. Or I can delete the temporary files which means it removes everything here and I start over again. So if I go ahead and delete the temp files, are you sure? Say yes. 
dumps them, there's nothing there. So what I have to do is I can close out, come back here and just click on burn again, and it automatically creates the shortcuts to these files that will actually pull them onto my disk. Then just go ahead, if I'm ready and I'm fine about this, click burn to disk. The disk title allows me to change it again, top secret, what's my recording speed? Well, I want the maximum recording speed that my CD drive or CD burner allows, and select 40 times. And then I can choose to close the wizard after the files have been written by checking the checkbox. We'll leave it open, click next. And right now it's just burning right all the information right to my CD. And hopefully it doesn't take too long because I don't want you sitting here waiting. So it tells me when it's done, you have successfully written your files to the disk and automatically my CD drive bursts open, pops open so I can grab the disk so I know it's done. Now this may take a while, I don't know. It just depends on the, the amount of information you want burned to your CD or DVD or Blu-ray disk. The more the information, even though you may have some high speeds there, it just takes longer to burn. So do you want to create another disk using the same files? It says it's already successful in the first disk and I can see it popped out of my CD tray right here. I can pull out the CD, put in a new one, say yes here, and then click next. See how that changes? If I uncheck that, it just says finish. I can go ahead and click finish and I'm done. I can close out of here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push my CD back in and let's see if it actually burned the files to the CD. Give it five or ten seconds after you push it in to make sure it can read the disk to see if it's a blank disk or if it's actually a, a disk that already has data on it. Pulls it up different this time, right? There's already data on it because it doesn't say do you want to burn uh, music to it or files. It just says, hey, do you want to open the folder to view the files? Now this little always do for this uh, folder here means that if I check this and I click on open, anytime I stick the CD in, it'll remember that CD and always open it and not uh, these other options. It assumes because there's pictures on there as well as files that you just want to view the pictures. But I want to see everything, so I'm going to click on open folder to view files. Hey, there it is. So then your friend or neighbor who or whoever you gave this to can just minimize this window here and then just go ahead and click and drag this to the desktop. And you see as they drag it, it makes copies of it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.